section. Next, I want to talk about creating an ODBC data source. Um, that's a popular option for um, for clients to access a database um, if they do not have like uh, the MSDE, which is the Microsoft Data Database Engine, or a SQL Server client tools on their machine. You could create a database source. So for that, what we need to do is in XP, we go to uh, we go to Control Panel. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see. Um, you go to Admin Tools, and then you pick uh, Data Sources. So the ODBC, and this will uh, bring up a little uh, wizard. I'm going to go ahead and create a System DSN. What that means is that it it resides on this machine and then it's asking you what kind of data source do you want I'm going to go ahead and pick SQL Server for the machine uh, you could have typed the name or the period either one would work I'm, uh, I'll just go ahead and type in my machine name all right here and then I'm going to call this uh, let's say we're we want the users to connect to the north wind database next it's asking you how do you want to connect to this database uh, you could either use the Windows authentication or you could use uh, SQL Server authentication um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the Windows NT and click next change the default database for this data source I'm going to change that to Northwind and leave the default settings. Change the language. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick English, and then finish. So here's uh, here's the summary of the new data, new ODBC data source. Um, talks about what server you're connecting to, which database you're using, some of the other options. Before I click OK, I want to go ahead and test it, and it looks like it uh, tested OK.